Hello there, my name is B3M, but you call me Ben, and it's been a quiet week for Fungo fans. I mean, we got the box of fun, we got all this fun con stuff going on, it's been a busy week. And so I'm not going to waste your time, I'm not going to waste my time, let's get into all the Funko news of the week. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy, and let's get on with the video. The Marvel's Collector Corps box turned out to be What If themed, with the box coming with two Pops figures, a shirt, a decal, and a pin. We also found out that the next Marvel Collector Corps box will indeed be Shang-Chi themed. Personally, I'm not actually too excited for the movie, I know a lot of Marvel fans are hyped for it, and as a fellow Marvel fan, of course I'm going to go see it. And I'll also make sure that the Shang-Chi box is linked in the description below. This week we got a new look at this awesome guy and his Chase variant from Naruto, I am blanking on his name, I am sorry. And Box of Fun boxes were sold this week. Yes, the winners of the lottery system for these boxes, which I was not one of, were able to purchase them without the worry of having to raise thousands of other people to get them, if they were willing to, you know, pay $100. Even without the extra strain, the Fantastic Fury box did manage to sell out. However, in an unexpected move, Funko decided to release the box of fun to the general public. People weren't too happy for this, they weren't too thrilled, as this would mean that more people would have them, they would not be worth as much, and flippers especially would not be happy about this. But what is really cool is that we now do have a sneak peek of what's inside the box, including this really cool Torchy Pop. There's also a Pop Podium, the Pop 2-Pack, the Funko Cereal, and some other cool items inside of each box. Surprisingly, the box is already shipping out to the winners, so congrats to everyone who managed to get them. I was not one of them. We now know that the Diecast Captain America FunCon exclusive will be priced at $50 and sold in a foam casing instead of the regular plastic. PopsOutlet.com has this intriguing Naruto Pop available for sale, as well as other awesome Pops. And now Wave 2 of Space Jam 2 Pops, the critically acclaimed and fan favorite film of the year, are available for pre-order now. I love that Don Shield actually comes with a little pop buddy, I think it's pretty cool. I'm blanking on the name, but I think it's pretty funny looking. And there's also going to be some Space Jam exclusives coming soon with a Funko Shop exclusive Cowboy LeBron James coming soon. A Flocked Gossamer, I think I'm saying that right, Gossamer, right? Is available for pre-order now from Pop in a Box. I'm really not a fan of this design, I think the face does not fit the pop itself, but if you like him, I'll make sure to have him linked below. In fact, all these pops are linked down below in the description. The Walmart exclusive She-Ra on Swiftwind is available for pre-order now. This absolutely outrageous Overwatch pop which is a Blizzard exclusive, is available for pre-order now as well. And this week, we got a closer look at this new Bakugo Pop, which should be coming out within the next couple of months to Hot Topic. And I'm super excited for this guy. I'm a big My Hero Academia fan. I already made a video on this, but another big YouTuber named Top Pops got to announce the new Jack in the Box Pop, which is going to also be sold during FunCon. I thought it was a common release, but it turns out it's actually a FunCon exclusive. If you were also a part of the Jack in the Box Discord, then during his first weekend, they held giveaways every hour where they gave away the figure, which was actually really fun, and I'm glad that I got to be a part of that. The Walmart exclusive Blonde Ryan is starting to hit stores for you pop hunters, and the Hot Topic Blue Spirit and his Glow variant is also starting to hit stores this week. Superman and Emily are also starting to hit Hot Topic stores. And the Blacklight Eddie Brock was released. And although it's not available online anymore, if you're a really determined Funko Pop Hunter, you can find him in Target stores. Don't worry though, if any of these pops are still available online, I'll make sure that they're linked below. The Walmart exclusive Captain Boomerang is available for pre-order now, which I think will be going up in value soon. If you know, you know. This week we got a closer look at the new Venom Pops, and all honesty, I don't think they look terrible, it's just that the Venom really it looks more comical than actually scary and then Carnage's head just looks tilted or kind of like off-centered and I just don't think it looks right. They're not bad just not great. And this week we also got the release of Peggy Carter and the Hydra Stomper. This is an Amazon exclusive deluxe pop as it has both Peggy and Steve in the Hydra Stomper included into one and so I think that that actually is pretty cool. Pop and Box revealed a new Spider Girl exclusive pop for a few days, we actually got little teases as to what this pop might be, but finally it was revealed. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's got a blue chase variant that's also pretty interesting, and I really want to know what you guys think of this pop down below in the comments. 
Urban Outfitters exclusive Litter Britney Pop is available for purchase now. And GameStop has some really cool Funko Sodas available for pre-order. If you're a fan of Funko Sodas or any of these other pops, then I'll make sure to have them all linked in the description. Sorry, you know I gotta share this. You may or may not be a fan of them, but the art series Mickey Mouse is available for purchase now on Amazon's website. The Pop in a Box exclusive Wanda Maximoff orders are starting to actually ship out this week, so that's pretty cool. And a surprise to be sure, but welcome one. Imperial Palace DC figures are now out. If you're a fan of these figures, then I'll make sure that they're linked below. This week we found out that Funko NFTs will be coming out on August 3rd, which I already made a video on how to get them. To be extremely oversimplifying the process, if you get the NFTs, then there's a very small chance that you'll be able to get legendary and grail NFTs that come with a physical pop. However, the odds are extremely small, and most likely when you buy the NFT packs, you'll only be getting the NFTs, and so you don't get your hopes up. Don't spend a ridiculously high amount for the chance of getting a physical pop. Just buy them if you're interested in them, not for gambling. For some reason, Walmart accidentally released their Funkon share exclusives early, with this Crash and G.I. Joe pop showing up online. They are now out of stock, but it's still strange that they were even posted onto a website at all. Not, not cool, Walmart. And speaking of FunCon, Laurie winner emails went out for the convention, and sadly I was not a winner. If you did not get any emails from Funko saying that you've won, then you are a fellow loser like me. And so I'll be making a video for exactly us on how to get these figures even if you're a loser. Anyways, if you are a Lari winner, then on August 4th, you'll be able to purchase these figures. And then the Lari losers will be able to purchase the remaining figures on August 5th at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. On a much happier note, all the pops that are available to be ordered are linked in the description. If you have a slot to attend FunCon in person at the Funko Hollywood shop, then make sure to check your email. Because apparently, they actually over exceeded the amount of people that could come and so you have to check to make sure you're actually registered for it. What Funko decided to do to fix this is actually add a 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. time slot. And even though that's really nice of them, I actually did check and I am registered to go. Unfortunately, I won't be able to attend even though I am registered and everything, just due to my own personal scheduling. I missed out on the email for it, and I do have a ticket to go, but I just can't get the figures. A new General Grievous will be coming to Hot Topic, which I'm very excited for. This guy will be released in the next few weeks, and as a Star Wars fan, I gotta say, this guy looks awesome. I love the details on him. It looks like it's General Grievous from those little snippets that we saw from him at the end of Clone Wars. I think he looks awesome. And some new Asia exclusive pops will be hanging over to China. Target will soon have a four pack of these Blacklight Marvel pops coming out. So when I get more info on them, I'll let you guys know. Target will also have some new Harry Potter pops coming soon. And seemingly out of nowhere, some Doug Days pops came out, with most of them being Doug as well as a new Russell and Carl pop. There's also a Target exclusive Doug with puppies and a Funko Shop exclusive Doug with headphones. The Target exclusive Doug is available now, and we just gotta wait for the Funko Shop exclusive. And in our last bit of news, Box Lunch will soon be getting this awesome Rex pop, which I'm very tempted to get as it is so nostalgic. Anyways, that's all our Funko news for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I recently did a giveaway where I gave away some awesome figures. And who knows, maybe I might be playing another giveaway coming up soon. Guess you gotta find out and stay subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video was able to give you all the Funko news that you need. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Have a great day. And goodbye now.